Welcome to my channel Kot Sahang. Today we will be talking about how does a fusion plant work, obtaining energy from the fusion of two atomic nuclei is a long-held dream of science. A dream that the research team at the Wendelstein 7X fusion facility in Greifswald has already come a big step closer to, the required raw materials deuterium and lithium are found in water and rock. You can generate as much energy from just 2 liters and 250 grams as from 1000 liters of oil. To do this, lithium is first converted into tritium. Like deuterium, it is an isotope of hydrogen, both are the fuel of the fusion reactor. If you let their atomic nuclei collide at a temperature of more than 100 million degrees, they fuse. This creates helium and releases energy in the form of a fast neutron. This mixture of positively and negatively charged particles results in a hot plasma, the so-called fourth state of aggregation. Like a gas, it does not have a stable form. Therefore, you need a vessel to capture this artificial sun on Earth and maintain the fusion reaction. One such vessel is in Greifswald in the form of a huge machine. However, it is not the walls that enclose the plasma, but a magnetic field. And that has to be well thought out. Because this plasma finds ways and means to break out of this magnetic field again. Through turbulence, through instabilities. And there were some surprises in research. That's why it's not as easy as you think. Two reactor concepts have always competed, the tachymac and the stellarator. In the tachymac, the plasma is controlled by ring-shaped magnetic coils and a magnetic field in the plasma itself, which is generated by a transformer. It is the most developed concept to date. But the tachymac has a disadvantage, the magnetic field can only be maintained as long as a current of increasing strength flows through the transformer. Because the current cannot be increased infinitely, the transformer has to be switched off and on again and again. Therefore, this type of reactor cannot be operated permanently, but only intermittently. The stellarator promises a solution because it does not require a transformer. Here the plasma can be controlled solely by the external magnetic coils. However, these must be constructed irregularly and extremely complex. Only increasingly more powerful computers make the necessary calculations of this complicated coil geometry possible. Unlike the tachymac, the stellarator reactor type can operate in continuous operation. Elementary for the economic operation of a power plant, with Wendelstein 7X, the world's largest stellarator type fusion system was completed after 15 years of construction. With a diameter of 16 meters and 50 coils, it is possible to shape magnetic fields more precisely than ever before. The next big goal is continuous operation, 30 minutes would be the breakthrough. Thank you for watching, if you found this video informative please give it a like, and subscribe my channel for more interesting videos on science and technology.